next guest wants to ensure every young boy of color in his Virginia community who wants a career in STEM has the opportunity. He is the creator of Future Kings, which not only teaches middle and high school kids college level cybersecurity, computer game design, drone engineering, and biomedical sciences, all I know nothing about. He gives them hands-on experience that helps secure them jobs, and that is what makes him a rad human. All right, everybody, say hello to Dr. Eric King. Give it up. You look very handsome, first off. Thank you very much. Yes, and it is lovely of you to join us. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, but I have to ask, like, this was kind of inspired by your own experience, right? Yes and no. I started out as a uh, technician and had my own technology-based business. And I decided I wanted to uh, give that up so I could give back to the community by becoming a middle school math teacher at a Title I school. Yeah. So that was part of the experience. But the other part was that I was these boys. I was a black adolescent. And so we designed a program around my experience as a... Uh, owner of a technology-based business, yep. as well as an adolescent who is navigating through the challenges of the 21st century. When I became a math teacher and entered a Title I public school, one of the things that I was surprised to find is that even as entering sixth graders, so many of the students that I was teaching had already lost the light of life from their life, that they had given up and thought there was no future and no hope for them. Hmm. And with my background, as a technology business owner, then I knew that that wasn't true. And yeah. I knew that I had the resources to help design a program that would give them a future and a hope when they graduated from high school. And so that's how we got started. That's incredible, man. So tell, tell everybody how the program works. Our program works through a series of systems, a series of integrated systems. Mm -hmm. One system is in teaching technology. And as you mentioned, we're teaching uh, college-level cybersecurity, computer game design, drones, and biomedical sciences yeah. to students who are in secondary school. That's a challenge in itself. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, we're teaching what we believe are soft skills so that students in our program learn about creativity, collaboration, uh, presentation skills, and a number of other soft skills that business owners have told us are lacking in some of their uh, new hire employees. That's what they're looking for, though. That's what yeah. they're looking for. And then the third part of our system is that uh, we are providing them with uh, real-world job skills. Mm -hmm. We have... Uh, our, our students are typically less than 16 years old, so they're not as eligible to be apprentices or interns. So we have real-world projects that we put them on, and those projects are led by practicing professionals. Uh, and then our students act as... Uh, as interns on his projects. And it's all held together by what we call visualization, meaning that uh, if I see it, I can be it. And students, uh, a successful career uh, black men who have reached the pinnacles of success in government or industry will come in and speak to them and inspire them uh, to, uh, to go beyond just high school, but to look for life success. Oh my gosh. Our next guest started with Future Kings when he was in the sixth grade. And at 17, he now has his future mapped out, which is more than I had at 17. Let's say hi to Lewis, everybody. Give it up. <laughs> so Dr. King was a teacher for you, right? Yeah, so back in sixth grade, Dr. King was a uh, teacher at my middle school. And I first approached him because he was carrying a VR headset. And so back at the time, the VR headsets were like a really big thing. Yeah. And so um, I asked him about it. He said he ran a program that used to called Future Kings. And yeah. so I immediately was interested in it because who wouldn't want to pass up a gaming system? Yeah. And um, so he said, yeah, it's an after school program. So I got signed up and everything. And then throughout that process, I went through Future Kings and its different concentrations. So we have things such as game design, cybersecurity, biomedical sciences, and drone engineering. Yeah. I initially started with game design, but then I switched to cybersecurity. I realized that cybersecurity was really where I wanted to be at because growing up, I always had a interest in taking apart computers and building things and things of that nature. So that definitely sparked my curiosity. Yeah. And so in the cybersecurity strand, we learned a lot about uh, network operations, how to run a computer both on the hardware and software side, how to build it, and how to set up servers, networks, and services for companies. 
things like that. You are so smart. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> like what? That was yeah. like me too. That was my Thursday. <laughs> um, yeah, so you got some real life experience though with Future King. So like what? Give us like an example. Yeah, so we got to work with our uh, county schools around the Virginia state. And mm -hmm. so we worked with somebody called Loudoun Foundation. We learned to create a secure file transfer system for them. And so we worked with MITRE, which is one of the largest cybersecurity companies out there. In partnership with them, we were able to create, like I said, a secure file transfer system for Loudoun Foundation. And mm -hmm. um, additionally, on top of that, we got to work with our county senior citizen homes to teach them a little bit about mobile literacy, how to stay safe on the internet, maybe shy away from strange extensions like .rus, which are usually associated with Russia. So we, we don't yeah. want any scammers. Yeah. What's next for you? You've got it kind of mapped out. What's next? Yeah, so the next step for me is I'm in the process of enlisting into the United States Space Force. Um, yeah. Just doing the career in cybersecurity. And I will be working alongside the most high level and top, um, you know, people in yeah. the military. And, yeah, that's where I see myself. Yeah, that's got to be where all the, like, legit stuff is going on. What do you want to say to Dr. King? So to Dr. King and from me and the rest of the students, we'd all like to say thank you for everything that you've done. You've always been there to mentor us and give us you know, advice on academics and professionalism. And you've always been a great guy to all of us and all the rest of the students. And you're very honest, genuine, and everything that you say comes from the heart. So thank you. Genuine. Lewis isn't the only one with kind things to say. We heard from some of your other students as well. So check this out. Dr. King, you gave me the belief that I can become the best version of myself. Dr. King, you give me tools to unlock the potential that I have inside of me. You made me believe that I can be a STEM innovator. That I can break through my barriers and push beyond my limits. That I can build a future for myself. You gave me the belief that I can decode my potential. That I can inspire others. You gave me the belief that my talents are worth something. Dr. King, you're an inspiring role model for young men just like me. You are truly amazing. You are the reason why I have a bright future and so many doors are open for me. You are a great helper and mentor to young black men like me. Thank you, Dr. King. Thank you so much, Dr. King. Thank, Thank you, Dr. King. King. Did you ever think, back in the day, did you ever think when you decided to make that change in your life, like, look, look, what's happened just from that one movement in your life? I, would, I never saw this coming. Yeah. yeah. Look at all those lives you've changed and how they're going to impact other lives. It's such a cool, beautiful domino effect, man. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> like, I was so sweet. This, this, in some ways, this reminds me of the song You Won the American Idol on. Yeah, uh, a moment like this? Uh, a moment like this. Yeah. Whoever saw this coming for... for <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I sure as hell didn't at that moment. <laughs> 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 I was like, no, I, I, I loved it. You never, you never know what's coming around the corner. You just sure. got to be open um, right. to change. Uh, but hey, I want to tell you something. So Checkpoint Software is changing the future of the cybersecurity workforce with the goal of educating every student. And when they heard about the great work that you're doing with Future Kings, they wanted to help. So they're going to donate $10,000 just to help out. <laughs> Everybody, we're going to be 